Hey, what's up guys? Kobe Cheese here, and I'm back for another playthrough, or episode of my Zelda playthrough. And right now we're in the Sil Temple. I'm supposed to be talking to my blue candy hair chick. Let's see what she wants to say. The integrity of your shield has weakened. Be wary of the remaining durability of this item. Okay, thank you. Um, da -dum 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 -dum. So, she's over there in the light. Let's go. Is this you, Zelda? What the heck is that? That is weird. That is an old lady. Oh, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Some weird hair, it's like a clock hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what is your name? Link? Oh, Link, good, very good. Since you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward, the skyward strike is yours to command. <laughs> it is proof that you are fit to bear the blade. You carry the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, all so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the seal temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here has predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you descended, descending to the land in a shower of light. There is no doubting it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in a manner as she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Link, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes. That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. Put that girl her own purpose she must <laughs> that girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. You set out for far own woods to discover that destiny for you herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. Sure. What you gonna show me? The hex upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Far own woods. You will be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Place an X. Place at the X and proceed to place a beacon. Okay, let's do C to make a beacon. Beacon. There we go. Good, good. Though you cannot see it from where you are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you, longer leave, when you no longer have a use for the beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing C. Use your beacons well and you will never fear getting lost. Go on now. You must head into Farron Woods and chase after the Spirit Maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of your treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. You are ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. <sighs> know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. Okay, okay, sounds good. There we go. There we go. Ooh, rippy. What I get? Some revitalizing potion. Fully replenishes your shield gauge and also restores four hearts. Nice. Restores my shield gauge, it said? That's cool. Alright. Whoa! No more parkour on weird spots. Some of all these little bugs that fly out. Oh boy, I like rubies. I do like rubies. What is this? It's a chair I can sit on? <laughs> dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Okay. I don't know why it said dot 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 when I sat down, but... Hoya! Hoya! 
If something was activated, I'd be able to shoot myself out of the top of this. She opened a door over here, didn't she? I think she did. Okie dokie, Billy. There's the beacon! <coughs> it's beacon! It's bacon! Instead of beacon, it's... Instead of bacon, it's beacon. Lots of rupees, dude. Lots of rupees. I'm cool with lots of rupees. Give me your rupees! Yeah, more rupees! This is a good bush. Lots of rupees in these bushes. More rupees! More rupees! What the heck? These guys are being rude over here. Out of the way! Scrap! Hey! Better leave that dude alone. You get them! Gosh, dude. I'm all tired. Get wrecked. Woo! Thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. Just who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into the pack of them in the peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I bumped into one of your kind today. I'll tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. Hey bud, I'm Gorko the Goron. I'm researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient text, there is some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky or down from the Isle in the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly this statue is special as it is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. The whole thing sounds like a little crazy, I know, but I for one believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It is a real head-scratcher, bud. It makes you want to know more, does it not? Yeah! Oh, sounds like I have a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. Alright, bud, you had better brace yourself because I am about to blow your mind. So, get this. People actually live on this skyline, and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. Up there, everyone reveres the goddess, and the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. This Isle of the Goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures that it is filled with wonders we do not have here. Oh. The buildings are all made of gold. An endless spring of myth mystical water feeds a river through the place. One sip of that stuff and you live forever. The trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magical wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather, oh the weather, bud. Not too hot, not too cold, no chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Amazing, right? Wrong! It's beyond amazing! You want to hear more about it, don't you, bud? Sure! Good to hear, bud. I'm completely obsessed with this place. I cannot get enough of it. I wish I had more to tell you now, but I will need to research these statues to learn more. Next time I bump into you, I will give you the latest info. Thank you, dude. Thank you. So I'm going to scavenge strike this thing back to life. Nope, it just works randomly. Oh! Whoa! What in the world just happened? Did you do some kind of magic? The statue reacted the moment you got near it, but how crazy is that? Because I am the chosen one. Let's save it. Goro. What was that? Said you just reacted to you. What did you do? Come on. Do not make a big guy beg. I have got to know. I have to examine that statue further, but who knows? I might find out. Uh, it's like I don't tell him what's up. It's like I am from the sky, but cancel. Hang on. Alright, cool. Moving on. 
Hey, little buggies. Look at the buggies. Look at the buggies. Do 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 do. Let's dows. Let's dows. Let's dows. Let's dows. What's up here? Hey, it's a little cave thing. I'm gonna explore the cave thing. Ooh, it's a log. What happens if I do this? Oh boy. This means I can get back up here later, right? What's up here? Okay, I don't know about that. I want to fight those things again. Yep, let's get out of here. Moving on, moving on. Yeah, rupees. Give me them rupees, dude. Hey, look, another thing I can climb. What's up this? Oh, what is that? It's just a rock that... Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Kind of heavy, aren't they? Yes, indeed, they are. Quite heavy indeed. I think this is where I just came from to save that guy. Rupees all over the place. Let's just stash up on these. Okay. Swing. There we go. Apparently I'm getting tired. Go normal speed, man. What? Oh, let's move this log. I think I can move this log. Hard. Okay. Move the log. Roll it. There we go. Of course. There we go. Hey, it's my beacon. Is my beacon. What's next, friends? What's next? Hey, hello there. Master, you've entered the Farron Woods. Yay, the Farron Woods. What wonders awaiteth here? The plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. It is logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the region. Okay. Nice. Got a new place discovered. Farron Woods. Cool. Looking at the probabilities, it is extremely likely that Zilla is somewhere in the area. I recommend that you continue to use your dowsing ability to search for her. Alright, I suppose I can do that. Oh, down goes the tree. Down goes the tree. <clears throat> okay. Cool story. She's that way, huh? Okay. That was cool. Oh, whoa, whoa, it's a bomb. It looks like a bomb. It just poofed. It didn't really blow up, it just poofed. Um, can I get it off me? I bet it would have hurt if it was stuck to me. I want to pick it up. That's weird. 
And let's just chop it down. Chop it down, chop it down, chop, 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 Hey, what are these little trolls doing? Ooh, some ugly dudes. Yep, gotcha. I win, you lose. GG. GG, no re. Hey, dude, you're safe. Little wind up thingy. What the hell? That is weird looking dealio. It's gone quiet! Oh, I don't think I can do that voice. It's like a penguin, man. Cool! Now there's a queen one! I didn't even know what a king penguin. Don't I be queen? <laughs> Slide. I don't know if I can run that high. Master, I picked up a highly interesting spike in dowsing readings from the creature you just encountered. Really? Yes, Master, based on the creature's characteristics, I must conclude that it is a peaceful, forest-dwelling animal known as the Kwee-Kwee. Kwee -kwee. are intelligent being capable of speech. However, such a creature could obviously not be confused with Zelda. It isn't clear why such a creature would, ex would elicit a dazzling response attuned to Zelda. You should follow the creature and investigate this phenomenon. Oh, um, okay. What was I'll be following a little random creature thingy? What's that way? Is that where it came from? I think it is. Alright, gotta run up this little dude here. Ah, there we go. Slippery slidey sand. Nice, okay. Hey, there it is. Quee Quee! My name is Bone Quee Quee Security! Somebody call Security! <laughs> Alright guys, well that looks like a good stopping point for now. We'll chase around Quee Quee in the next episode. So if you're ready to watch that, please hit this like button as it really does help me out if you enjoyed this episode. I'll definitely see you around next time guys. Kobe Cheese, peace out!